So, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that we've been invited to submit a paper to a prestigious conference in Hawaii. All right, all right. The bad news is that one of you is going to have to write that paper, and the deadline is tonight. We all need to get out of the lab and meet people in conferences, Hawaii shirts and sandals with socks. What about the latest result for the conference next week? I have them here, sir. Ah, have you double-checked them? Yes. Triple-checked them? Yes. Quadruple-checked them? Yes. If you are still a PhD student, I hope you will learn how we can best so-called work the room and meet the right people in conferences. Smith! Sangeeta. I enjoyed your recent work lately, Brian. It's so applied and accessible. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to PhD Coffee Time. This is the online community for you as PhD student to get motivation, peer support, and practical tips during your PhD. Tip number one when you are attending a conference is your preparation start before the conference. Once you arrive at the conference venue, time is ticking, you don't have a lot of time to spend on everybody. You must strategize who are the relevant people for your research interests that you want to speak with and you want to prioritize your energy towards those people. Really do your homework. Who is going to be there? What are these speakers good at? Second tip is take note. I will bring computer and take notes on OneNote. If I don't have the internet and space, I may use a stylus using good notes on my iPad and I will write my notes or just basic pen and paper to write it down. Because when you engage someone on a conversation and someone has already given a talk, it would be really bad if you don't remember the key points. You really want to find a common ground to connect back to what they have just spoken. You have to recall what people have said, try to bring it with a humor to connect with people, and it requires a lot of practice. And as an introverted person in the beginning, I feel really uncomfortable speaking with strangers. Sometimes I may not even understand the science as well, so reading their work in advance, practice and understand science really goes a long way. The third tip is some more biological tips. Don't get distracted by free food and free drinks. Easily you can have the whole coffee break standing in line with random people. You don't want to waste your time on that. Bring a bottle of water with you. The point of being in a conference is to network and meet the right people, speak to the right people. Especially if you are in your last year PhD, it will be a lot more valuable that you speak with the right person that can give you the postdoc or the industry role. And that requires prioritization and food is not the priority. Unless that person is also standing in line with you, maybe the advice is to make sure you stand next to the right person when you're waiting for a snack. That will be a middle ground that is balancing out that you get free food as well as connection. What are you doing? Nothing. Talking to my friend? I know what he's doing. What? He's about to do a chat and cut. It's a total chat and no. cut. No, 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 no. Yeah. I know it looks like a chat. Because you were chatting with your friend and then you cut Wait, the Wait, are you guys even friends? Hey. To a lot of people, it's really scary to speak to a big name professor or some strangers that may give you a job or not. But sir, I, I joined this program specifically to work in your research group. I mean, I, I graduated at the top of my class. Well, that's nice. So did the other seven master students waiting outside my door right now. That was someone that is at your peer knowledge level. It might be some postdoc or PhD student that is in that institution that you're interested in. You can start by informational interview with these people relevant to your interests. They are not as intimidating. Start the friendship and conversation there and then ask for recommendation on how do we best approach this professor? How is it like to talk to the person? Sometimes even speaking, you need to warm up. It's like doing exercise. You need to warm up your muscle. You need to warm up the way way you speak, your tone. Having someone to speak with already give you that level of confidence. So I found it really helpful starting from people who are at our hierarchical level, if there is hierarchy. And professor, you want to really prepare yourself. These results are all very interesting, but what do they this all mean? The Why don't we ask the expert in the room? Hmm? 
Last but not the least, for introverted people, I know conference can be really intimidating, really stressful experience. Don't be hesitant to take breaks when people give you a conference booklet 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. of <laughs> schedule. Conference banquet, you are always surrounded by people. <laughs> it only takes until much later of my career to know that it's okay to skip a few lecture if you wanted to take a little bit of downtime so that you can come back to the next really important talk and get the most out of it just do it because you are participating in a conference it's not like a certification course like you don't need to remember every lecture that was given you are the leader of that mission and you need to make that executive decision for yourself whether or not you should invest your limited energy to go to that event should you spare yourself and engage a one-on-one -on -one conversation in a corner where there's a coffee shop and create environment that works best for you and suggest something that may be mutually interesting to the other person. Think creatively how you will use your conference time and working the room won't be as intimidating as it seems because I think a lot of people think working a room means you go there and get all the attention, but it's not. I would put it in the way saying make the best out of the room and get the most out of the people that matters for your own research interest and your own career planning. So that sums up my sharing today. Do you have other conference tips that you are going to share with us? To me, one of my favorite one is this neck pillow that I've made when I travel to Australia. Yes, I traveled 29 hours on the plane with three flights and two transits. And I found that if you roll five t-shirts together and roll it like a donut, it saves space for shirts and you can use it like a neck pillow. I slept really well and it's really supportive to your neck as well. You can adjust it. Anyway, I should stop embarrassing myself. I hope you guys stay safe. Try traveling these days in the pandemic and I'm hoping things are opening up. I really miss my family. They're in Hong Kong, which is the strictest quarantine city on the planet. There will be 21 days if I ever decided to visit them that I need to be in quarantine in Hong Kong. I miss my family and I hope things will get back to more normal <laughs> in the future. Thank you for watching and please comment below any of your personal conference tips and experience. I would love to read them and until the next time, thank you for watching. If you're learning something today, please make sure to hit the like button so that it really will help me reach more PhD students out there. Comment below, do you use already some of these tips? And share this with anyone that you're working with so that everyone can progress a little bit more as a scientist. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.